Welcome back to the fascinating world of the genes with Rohini and today we are going to start with the prokaryotic gene expression regulation. In the prokaryotes or in the bacteria, there are the genes which are always expressed that it is a constitutive expression and the genes they are called as a housekeeping genes. The housekeeping genes example it is the genes for the rRNA, genes for the protein synthesis and the genes which are involved into the basic metabolism that they are called as the housekeeping genes. There are some of the genes whose expression it is not always required that is it has to be the regulated one. So to have that regulatory unit Jacob and Monod he, uh, they both of them uh, studied it well and given the model of the operon in 1961. Okay so here uh, the concept of the operon is there. The operons, the model of the operon, the structure of the operon, it is consisting of the structural genes and the regulatory elements. Okay, the model, the structure of the operon, it is consisting of the structural genes and the regulatory elements. The regulatory elements, they are of the three types given by the Jacob and Monod. They are the regulatory gene, promoter and the operator. And here there are the structural genes, okay, here there are the structural genes and these structural genes they are nothing but they are giving the product polypeptide or the RNA. They are encoding the product polypeptide or the RNA. Regulatory elements, in the regulatory elements, this regulatory gene, it is the type of a structural gene. Regulatory gene, it is a type of a structural gene which is going to give you the product and that product, okay, that product it may be a protein or RNA which is involved into the regulation of the gene. Regulatory gene, it is a type of a structural gene which is involved into the synthesis of the protein or the RNA which is controlling the expression of the genes. Promoter, it is a sequence of DNA where RNA polymerases it is binding means promoter it is involved into the initiation of the transcription. Operator, it is a sequence of DNA where the repressor it is binding. Now, what do you mean by the repressor? Repressor, it is a regulatory protein which is, uh, which is binding to the operator. Repressor, it is a regulatory protein, it is a product from the regulatory gene and that repressor it is binding to the operator and it is going to inhibit the transcription. As the repressor binding to the operator and inhibiting the transcription, this operator it is involved into the inhibition of the transcription. So promoter involved into the initiation or the start of the transcription Operator, it is involved into the inhibition of the transcription. Okay. To the promoter, RNA polymerases, is, it is going to bound. And to the operator, the repressor, it is going to bound. Now, the regulatory gene, it has the two products. It may synthesize the two types of the products. Either the repressor, either the activator. Any one of them, it may be the product of the regulatory gene. Just we have seen about the repressor. Now, what is the activator? Activator, it is the regulatory protein which is allowing efficient loading of RNA polymerases over the promoter to increase the efficiency of transcription. What is the activator? Activator, it is a regulatory protein which is efficiently loading the RNA polymerases over the promoter and and increasing the efficiency of transcription it is the activator okay so regulatory protein it may synthesize the repressor or it may synthesize the activator if it is synthesizing the repressor that repressor it is going and binding to the operator if it is synthesizing the activator it is going and binding near to the sequence of the promoter and it is allowing the transcription okay so this it is the operon model okay and here what you observe that there is a co-regulation okay there is a co-regulation of the structural genes co-regulation means what here these are the three structural genes okay it is a hypothetical example there are three structural genes and these three structural genes 
they are regulated simultaneously with the single regulatory elements that it is a co-regulation and here there is a co-transcription also co-transcription means what the these all the three genes they are going to be transcribed as the RNA polymerases it is going to bound with the promoter okay so RNA polymerases so here the RNA polymerases it will get bound to the promoter and it is allowing the transcription of all the three structural genes means it is a co-transcription co-transcription of all the three genes as the three genes they are joined to each other they are under the control of the single promoter there will be the transcription of all the genes simultaneously okay this it is also called as the coordinate regulation or the coordinate gene expression that is presence or absence of the product of the genes at a time it is called as a coordinate gene expression and it is due to what it is due to the co-transcription and the co-regulation of the structural genes okay so what do you mean by now the operon operon it is a system in which structural genes they are under the control of the regulatory element that it is called as an operon here whenever you write the operon concept how you have to write structural genes it is genes not a gene okay structural genes under the control of the regulatory element it is called as the operon now this operon okay it is consisting of the two types of the elements and that two types of the elements it is a cis acting element and a trans acting product okay here cis acting elements and a trans acting product coming towards the trans acting product trans acting products example it is a regulatory gene and a structural genes trans acting product means what the genes which are going to give you or the genes which are giving the defeasible product and they are going to act on the target that it is called as a transacting product like the regulatory gene example here the repressor regulatory gene it is synthesizing the repressor and that repressor it is going and binding to the operator okay repressor binding to the operator inhibiting the expression of the genes means what the regulatory gene here it is a trans acting product okay the synthesis of the repressor it is in the cytoplasm and from the cytoplasm it is going to go at the operator and binding at the operator or your rna polymerases okay the product of the rn gene for the rna polymerases it is the RNA polymerases. That RNA polymerases it is going to synthesize in the cytoplasm and where it is going? It is going towards this promoter and it is allowing the transcription of the structural genes. It is a transacting. Okay, it is a transacting product. Okay, that is the product of the gene. It is a diffusible product that it is a transacting. Now the cis acting elements, the example it is a promoter and the operator. Cis acting elements means what? It is a exclusively a DNA sequence which is going to affect the DNA which is physically linked to it. What is a cis acting element? It is exclusively a DNA sequence which is acting on the DNA sequence which is physically linked to it. It is called as the cis acting element and example it is the promoter and operator. Now here we will, uh, I will explain it. Uh, take uh, two cases, okay. In the first case, you are keeping your promoter with the structural genes only, okay. So here it is operator, promoter and here it is your regulatory chain in the first case. And in the second case, you are going to put the promoter on the another DNA sequence. It is a DNA 1 and on the DNA sequence 2, you have the structural genes. Okay, so these are the two cases. In first case, the promoter it is adjacent, it is linked to the structural 
genes. It is bound to the structural genes. So here, when there is an incoming of the RNA polymerases, RNA polymerases it will bind to the promoter and it is allowing the expression of the structural genes. Okay, so in the first case, the product from the structural gene it is going to be synthesized. But here, when you look in the second case, okay, here you have put the promoter on the another DNA sequence, and the structural genes with the regulatory element operator and the regulatory genes they are put on the second DNA sequence. Now, what you observe that when there is an incoming of the RNA polymerases, RNA polymerases it will bind to the promoter, but it is not going to do the transcription of the structural genes. Why? Because promoter it is not with the structural genes, it is not adjacent to the structural genes. So, there is a no transcription of the structural genes. It is like how uh, you want to uh, see the cinema. So, you go to the cinema hall. Okay, you go to the theater in the cinema hall, you enter into the cinema hall and uh, then you are able to watch the movie. And if you are outside the cinema hall, then what will happen? You are not able to see the movie. Means what? Your physical presence into the cinema hall, it is important one. In the same way, the Structural genes, it has to be physically linked to the promoter, it is important one. So, this, this promoter, it is called as a cis-acting element. It is, uh, it is a cis-acting element, why? Because it is a DNA sequence and it is going to affect only on that DNA sequence which is bound to it, which is physically linked to it. It will be the same for the operator. If you are going to remove the operator from the structural genes, okay, or uh, from nearer to the structural genes to the another DNA sequence, the gene it is not getting, or a gene it is not getting regulated. That is, when you are going to remove the operator, uh, operator from this operon system, then what will happen? There will be the constitutive expression of your structural genes that is they are always getting expressed as there is a no presence of the operator. Okay, so in this way there is a concept of the cis-acting element and the transacting product. Both of them they are the part of the operon. Okay, cis-acting elements it is the promoter and the operator transacting products they are of whom the regulatory gene and the structural gene. So, what do you mean by the operon? Operon it is the system in which structural genes they are under the control of the regulatory elements. Okay, hope you have understood the concept of the operon. Uh, so, if you have any doubt, if you have any comment, you can write into the comment box and uh, please subscribe my channel and also share my videos to spread the knowledge. Thank you.